Good morning. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov, and I am the host of Law Across the Sea. And today we are talking with Michelle Chen, and this is part two of uh, Think Tech program. Uh, part one, Michelle spoke with Jay Fidel and talked a little bit about doing business in China. Today we're going to talk with Michelle about what it is to be a lawyer and the history of law in China. And welcome, Michelle. It's good, good to see you, as always. Uh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you for having me here. Michelle, you know, you're here on a three-month program. Mm -hmm. And you're about two months through the program now. Yeah. Are you having a good time? Yeah, very much. Is, is, yeah. it, is it fun to be yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very um, enjoyable. and. Uh, I like it here. We, we um, have a relationship with the Suzhou Bar Association. You're, you're from Suzhou yes. in China. Yes. And the Hawaii State Bar has, has a relationship mm -hmm. with uh, Suzhou Bar. Yeah. And so our program has Suzhou lawyers coming here for three months mm -hmm. and sort of being embedded with local law firms and lawyers and learning a little bit about law in the United States. Yeah. And this is your second program <laughs> on Think Tech, right? <laughs> right? right? That's right. Yeah, I did it once with Jay, and uh, that was a wonderful experience. Do, do they have these type of programs in China for lawyers, or do, for anybody? Do they have any type of uh, sort of uh, public service live stream programs where you come and talk? Um, actually, uh, not for my aware of because uh, it's um i i i i don't know any um this kind of independent and non-profit uh corporation as a media platform uh, in china we we uh, not in my city so what do you I, think about it what do you think it's nice it's nice it's um i think it's a free speech right you can uh, make your um, uh, audience and you, you can express what you want to share with your audience and it's nice. When you go back to China, mm -hmm. will you show your friends and colleagues and clients this program, these programs? Yeah, I will. <laughs> okay, now, here's, here's my next question. Mm -hmm. If Jay Fidel and I uh -huh. went to Suzhou, could we do this program in Suzhou with some lawyers there? What do you think? Yeah, uh, we can, uh, but not as a, um, a free uh, media platform as this, I, I think, because we don't have it. But I think we can make a program uh, with local TV station. Okay. And because all the uh, press and media platform is belong to the local TV station, maybe we can have some arrangement. All right, all right. well, I want to, let's, let's plan on doing that yeah, sometime, okay? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, now, let, I want to talk a little bit about the background of lawyers in China, because yeah. it's something we really don't know too much about here <laughs> in the United States. What, what, what is the history of lawyers in China? Well, I mean, I mean, we know in our system that mm -hmm. we've had lawyers uh, for quite a while, for no. at least a few hundred years. Yeah. Uh, how about in China? Uh, actually, there's, um, uh, I think, uh, the first uh, uh, the lawyer as uh, in, 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 in Chinese word, lawyer means the uh, uh, Buddhist uh, monk who explain Buddhist uh, rules in, in, in the Chinese word. But um, uh, it, um, in ancient days, there's uh, lawyers, uh, not, not lawyers, if people want to make a claim, they need to write their plan. But some people cannot read or write. So like they, would have to, they would have to write a complaint yeah. to uh, um, to, to, to submit to the authorities and to make a judge, to ask for a judgment. But uh, uh, at that time, people, some people, they don't read and they don't write. So they'd have so to they, go to the Buddhist Some Some priest. people, um, but there's or some educated, uh, educated men, they play as a role as a litigation lawyer, and they go to that 
uh, kind of people and they can help you to write the complaint and to uh, give you legal advice because not everybody know about the law and uh, also they can re represent uh, you in front of the judge and authority so that character could uh, regard as a very old uh, in the litigation lawyer. Okay, so you say that's about uh, uh, a, a, a Buddhist monk. Mm -hmm. and, and how long, I mean, when you say ancient times, what, what do you mean by that? How, how, how many years ago? We, we know a very famous uh, lawyer as the, our first litigation lawyer like 2,000 years ago. That, that first name is Deng Xi, and now it's his only and the first uh, litigation lawyer we know in the history. But, but he, he, he ended bad because he killed by the authority. Because you know the, the lawyer at that time, is, uh, they don't, they're less respected and I think that's a risky job because the government and the, uh, don't want them to help people to make argument. And also from the ordinary people, they see lawyers like, because they most of a criminal case, right? If they uh, find lawyers to help the criminals, they see, they speak to the bad people. So they don't have good reputation. But, but this first lawyer, mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago, mm -hmm. was standing up for people. Yeah. He was trying to help people. Yes. That's maybe not a bad thing. <laughs> for a lawyer to be known for? I mean, obviously, he, uh, you, you say the government didn't like him in 2,000 years ago. Yeah. But uh, maybe he was doing something good. Maybe that's a good thing for lawyers to have in their background, that he was helping and defending and trying to do something uh, positive for uh, people. That's correct. So that's why his, um, everybody remember him and, uh, you know, uh, admire him for, for all those years. But after that, I don't, uh, we don't know any famous uh, people to do that uh, work as a uh, career. Uh, I think the, most, uh, the first uh, modern, uh, model, uh, modern meaning lawyer came uh, to being uh, in 1912. It's after the Sun Yixian set up the new country for China. Sun Yat-sen is Sun how we say it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> he, he set up a new country in, in, our, uh, uh, in, in China. Then right after that, they become uh, registered lawyers. Okay, so, so let me understand. So maybe we have, we have a history mm -hmm. chi in China mm -hmm. that a couple thousand years ago yes. we have a... A, a lawyer, yeah. a famous lawyer who stood up yeah, for, for the rights person. of people, who is very admired, is, yes. he, is still admired today? Yes, I think so. Okay, and then, and then maybe through the dynasties or the mm. imperial period, not so much. Yeah, not so much. I, uh, there's no um, a career or profession raised uh, during all these years. So then, then we have Sun Yat-sen come uh, into power in China. Mm -hmm. And we are very proud of him here in Hawaii, <laughs> oh, as you know. Yeah, uh, we, we do it too. Uh, because, you know, he's, he, he had a lot of his growing up. And maybe he learned a little bit about lawyers here. Uh, yeah, it's possible, maybe. maybe. Possible. Uh -huh. uh, and, and so what, what, did he, what did he set up or what did he establish? This was in 1910. He set up, uh, he uh, 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 set up a new country in China. It's, um, the, it still exists in Taiwan. But now, you know, <clears throat> there's a two system in China. It's one is in Taiwan, it's uh, established by Sun Yixin, and uh, another one is uh, um, in People's Republic of China. It's in mainland, so it established from 1949 by Mao Zedong. Okay, so, so 1910, yeah. Sun Yat-sen. How did that affect lawyers, or how, what, what did it mean for lawyers? How, what, um, what, the, the profession of lawyers from 1910 till Mao. What, 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 what happened in that period? In that period, uh, lawyers get licensed. It's like from central government, they uh, reject the for lawyers to, do, to practice. It's the it's modern meaning of practice. They help people to make claims, to give legal advice, write documents for people. It's a modern meaning of lawyers. So more or less like the Western yeah. idea, what we this have is, here. Yes. And Sun Yat-sen, was this... I mean, was, was this his concept, or was this his type of government, or how, how did the, the, these ideas come in? I think uh, the mo uh, 
you know, the, for, for, for that, when they set up the uh, uh, government structure, it's, uh, they copied some idea from the Western side because mo most of the leaders, they were study uh, overseas at that time. And uh, when they go back to <coughs> set up a new country, they start with learning for some modern uh, system. So the judicial s system is uh, what they learned uh, from the Western country at that time. I think the lawyer system is copied from uh, Western country as well. So they sort of adopted this, uh, yeah. this Western idea, yeah. okay. And that was for a few years yeah. under Sun Yat-sen. Yeah. And then, then what happened after that? After, uh, after the People's Republic of China established... Ma Mao, Mao, yes, Mao Zedong. Yes, it's uh, at uh, 49, 1949, uh, the system stopped because all the lawyers moved to ta Taiwan. And in mainland China, there's no lawyers. The, oh, really? The system, yeah, the system just stopped. And uh, uh, after that, uh, there's a sh very short period uh, in 50s, there's few lawyers practice and uh, it's all work as government lawyers for few years, but uh, uh, then it con completely stopped because the Cultural Revolution. And uh, after the Cultural Revolution, the lawyer as a career restart. I think it's uh, in 1979. It's okay, so so from a period of time mm -hmm. from uh, 1949, mm -hmm. uh, the idea of private lawyers mm -hmm. was not in favor. No, there's no private lawyers. In China? No, no, not in mainland China. And I, I, didn't, I wasn't aware that they all went to Taiwan, uh, <laughs> which might uh, be good for Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, some people may not think so, but uh, <laughs> to have lawyers it might, may help with uh, commerce and mm -hmm. contracts and mm -hmm. relationships yeah. uh, uh, in trade. But, uh, it, it, and so what would happen in the interim from 1949 uh, until quite r recently, 1979? You said, yeah. or what? How how were how were legal disputes handled, or how how did how were problems handled? Was it there, there was There's no private a, lawyers? To no private lawyer, no government lawyers. They don't handle by lawyers. They handle by authorities. You know, the um, the authorities they help with uh, everything. They, they, they don't need lawyers to help with When that. you say authorities, you mean the government? Government, yes. So they do have courts, though, but they don't have lawyers. And that would, would be how things would be resolved, would be through, through government uh, maybe me mediation mm -hmm. or arbitration or something like that? Uh, I think the government will make a decision on a dispute, and there's an very few dispute could put to the court. It's, um, and uh, the time is, uh, it, it's um, during the Cultural Revolution, you know, every system was, uh, was uh, destroyed. It's like, uh, it's not in the order. So that is a very special period. So after that, you, things started over, yeah. maybe. Is that, is that a correct way to, yeah, to yeah, say? Yeah, I and, think so. And uh, they started to think about private law or having having lawyers work in China or is that would that be a fair statement or? Um, yeah they first of uh, they they start to establish for some um, established uh, the the uh, uh, a department it's called the legal consultant department in every judicial bureau. I see. Yeah, then that will uh, all government lawyers. Okay. Now I want to talk a little bit more about that. We'll uh -huh. take a little break right now. Okay. And then we'll talk a little bit more about that. And I also want to talk about how you became a lawyer. Okay. okay. All yeah. Right? So we'll take a break right now. Okay. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Stacy Hayashi with the Think Tech Hawaii show, Stacy to the Rescue highlighting some of Hawaii's issues. You can catch it at Think Tech Hawaii on Mondays at 11 a.m. Aloha, see you then. Think Tech Hawaii, Asia in Review. I am Johnson Choi, the host. Looking forward to see you next month, December 15, Thursday, 11, right here at this channel. Aloha. Looking to energize your Friday afternoon? Tune in to Stand the Energy Man at 12 noon. Aloha Friday here on Big Tech Hawaii.
Hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Hibachi Talk. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm your co-host. And we have a nice program here every Friday at 1 o'clock uh, on Think Tech Studios where we talk about technology and we have a little bit of fun with it. So join us if you can. Thanks. Aloha. We are back with Michelle Chen, a lawyer from Suzhou, China, and she has been telling us about the history of Chinese lawyers. And Chinese lawyers have been around for 2,000 years, and they've been helping people and uh, being punished for it at times, but uh, it, it seems to be something that in China, uh, generally speaking, Michelle, uh, mm -hmm. are attorneys well thought of uh, in China? Pe do people think attorneys are good? Uh, do they do a good job? Uh, what's the general feeling about attorneys in China? I think um, uh, the, 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 because lawyers are not a big group in the society, it's many people don't meet a lawyer in their entire life. But for the people who know lawyers well, I think they find people, uh, they find the lawyers are uh, well, you, you know, respected and, uh, and re reliable. Um, you know, for those who has uh, uh, negative uh, reviews on lawyers, I always find this it's on the, the individual lawyers. It's because the performance of individual lawyers is not right. based on the group of the bad reputation of the lawyers group. So I find okay. it's okay. Right. Okay. Uh, now you said mm -hmm. that around 1979, mm -hmm. things changed a little bit and. Mm -hmm. uh, Previously, there had not been private lawyers mm -hmm. uh, or, or government lawyers, really. Mm -hmm. What happened? What happened? Um, from uh, 1979, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They, they first had some government lawyers. And uh, at that time, mainly deal with uh, criminal case or divorce, the civil case. Uh, they all litigation at that time. Uh, but uh, uh, soon after 88, 1988 uh, is start to have private uh, firms. So not, not that long ago. No, not that, that long ago. So we catch up fast. Right. Yeah, we, we skip for a while, but we catch up fast. What, what, what was the motivation to have private lawyers? Why, uh, why did that, after many years of no lawyers, mm -hmm. no private lawyers, mm -hmm. what prompted China to allow or to now think about private lawyers? You know, there's a, a open gate for China after the uh, cu uh, Cultural Revolution. And uh, after the open gate, the transaction got complicated. And the uh, need to do transaction from all of the world and the, even between each of the company. And that will, will be uh, a huge demand of the uh, lawyer getting involved. So there was a need for lawyers because of yes. trade. Yeah, uh, because the trade. And the economy demanded it. Yes. So it's good to know that people need lawyers, isn't yeah. it? Right? Yeah, right? I, I think so. So, so uh, that was 1988. Yeah. They, they started to have private law firms? Yes. Okay. How, how, how do you become a lawyer in China? What's the process? Um, it's a... You know, uh, the, uh, by the time I, I decided to become a lawyer before I get to the university, uh, I actually, there's a role model for me. I, uh, I have a, f we have a family friend who is a very famous lawyer and I always, uh, you know, read his stories, uh, very, the legend. He's the first generation uh, lawyer uh, for after the revolution and he's doing really good. Is, and is he from Suzhou? No, he practiced in Zhejiang and he uh, takes some position in the bar, uh, all America Bar Association as well. So he uh, he's a, a role model for me, and he likes me uh, a lot. And uh, he, he always talked to me, encouraged me. And then I decide I will go to law school and uh, to become a lawyer. So I, I go to law school. So you before you went to law school, you. Mm -hmm. You had to go to college first. You have a college degree first, or do you? What's the process, schooling-wise, mm -hmm. to become a lawyer? In China, it's a law school is uh, is undergraduate I level. See. It's uh, so every 
a student want to become a lawyer is you have to pass the uh, entrance exam to university, to the law school, and you become an undergraduate student, and you, you have to achieve your bachelor degree, and then you pass the uh, bar examination. Okay, is, that a, is that a four year? Program? Four year, four, four year, year undergraduate, undergraduate law, and okay. uh, achieve your bachelor degree, and then you pass the, the uh, bar exam. It's called national uh, judicial uh, national judicial examination, okay. and uh, you pass that, and you have to uh, complete the one year full time internship in a law firm. How, how do you choose the law firm, or how does the law firm choose you? How do you find a law firm to do that? Uh, you go to for for my uh, for for me. I prefer to go to big law firms, and you can learn better, right? And uh, from my personal experience, my first job is go to a big law firm in uh, in Suzhou. But the chance I uh, uh, I was lucky because I got friend to help me, and you know, he introduced me to into to, that. Firm. So you you have to sort of uh, ask the law firm to take you. Yeah. Do, do they okay. have to take you? No. So it's up to the choice of the law firm? Yes. Okay. They don't have to take me. They have to choose. They, they depends on your education background. It depends on the exam you take um, for their application. Okay. So then what happened after you go for one year? Mm -hmm. Then what happened? Uh, after one year, I'm a, a, a licensed as a lawyer, then I, I start uh, work as an associate lawyer for a partner in that firm. That same firm that you trained in? S yeah, okay. same firm. Uh, they they, they agreed me to stay, and I work as an assistant lawyer with a partner for one year. And after that, uh, I become an associate lawyer. Uh, that so that one year period? is the second year that you were there. Yeah. And it's kind of they're, they're, they're finding out more about you during that period of time before they hire you as a associate. Yeah. Is that, is that, would no, that be? they hired me after my internship. I see. And then I work as a uh, 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 assistant. Uh, it depends on what you can choose. You can work longer as an assistant. I see. And uh, your uh, teacher could choose you to work longer. Uh, it's, it's work both, uh, it's, it's uh, two, two um, you know, it can choose each other. And uh, if you decide to become an associate lawyer, and they won't stop you. And for me, is uh, I start to have my own client, so I decided to become associate lawyer and have my own client. And um, uh, after the fifth year, I take two years off to give birth to my son. <laughs> yeah, after okay. he's uh, uh, two years old, uh, I I decide I had my master uh, before I go back to work. So I take another one year. Uh, to f uh, get my master degree. Now, 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 the master degree, that's a law degree also? Yeah. Master of Laws, yeah, I master see. Master of Law. And uh, uh, after I finished my uh, master degree, I decided to transfer my profession from a lit litigation lawyer. I was a litigation lawyer before, and I transferred to a non-litigation lawyer, and I want to focus on the legal consultant uh, of companies and uh, doing uh, construction projects. And uh, then I joined my current firm, and I become a first uh, female lawyer of theirs. They don't have a female lawyer there before wow. me, and now I'm uh, only a female partner wow. know, in the firm. Wow! Well, uh, you know that raises a number of questions. So mm -hmm. uh, in China, mm -hmm. mostly men lawyers are. are yeah. Both, is there equality, or what, what's the what's the numbers? Is it? Um, it was uh, most uh, men lawyers before, but now it's uh, more and more women lawyers joined. But uh, uh, I don't know why, but the, the, the uh, partner, most uh, partners are male lawyers. That's that, the current situation. Is that changing? I mean, I, I think we, the same thing happens in the United States. Uh, we, we hear that too. Uh, is that changing? Yeah, or? I think so. It's uh, it's changing because now is more women lawyer joined, so soon there will be more women partners come up. And you're the only female partner. Yeah, in of my your, firm. Of your firm. Yeah. How how many how many lawyers in your firm? Uh, we have seventy lawyers. Seven yeah. zero. Seven, seven zero. zero. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, 
is it hard to become a partner or what does it take in China? What, what's the process? Uh, it's, um, it's depends on the revenue. It's a bit, it depends on the income you bring to the firm. And if you, um, uh, the, the income you bring the firm, uh, if it's uh, in two years, if you reach the partner level, two years in a row, if it's uh, uh, reached the partner level, um, then they will have a meeting, partner meeting, to discuss whether to let you uh, join the firm as a partner. And once the partner meeting decided to uh, uh, invite you as a partner, then you can uh, decide whether you choose to be a, become a partner or not. And uh, So it's all about money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that, that's interesting. Yeah, and but also in the partner uh, meeting, we will discuss whether uh, it's uh, this person is, uh, you know, fit on the uh, company, uh, the law firm's culture. Okay, so it's not all about money. There, yeah, there's culture yeah, involved mainly, too, internal yeah. culture of the law firm. And yeah. do law firms have uh, uh, different p personalities in China? Uh, different are they known for different things uh, in China some law firms here may be known for uh, certain types of cases uh -huh. in China is it the same or does everybody do the same thing uh, I think they uh, they actually doing the same thing but they are actually have their different characters for lawyers and for law firms yeah. we are for example for our firm we are a firm is quite um, uh, famous in our uh, city is uh, we are quiet we don't do advertisement but we're doing good because we are we have a very um, uh, lead uh, in revenue for every year we like doubled for the the, the top top uh, the the second the the we are the first we are the top one and uh, our revenue could be double to the second so we we're quite famous of that now i want to just ask you a last question yeah okay uh you mentioned that you gave birth to a son uh -huh. how old is he now he's uh, 13 years 13 old. years old now would you like him to become a lawyer in china what is your feeling uh huh. Uh, I I respect his uh, decision all the time. You know, I, it it depends if he want to become a lawyer. I could be, but if for uh, I will feel if he decide to become lawyer, I could, could give him more support. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm good. Glad to hear. Maybe someday we'll have him on this program <laughs> as a lawyer. <laughs> Thank you very somebody. much, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh,